What's up, YouTube? We're gonna get it on with this fire roasted rabbit that I was telling you about in the smothered rabbit recipe. If you recall, this would be the one. Uh, well, they did move, didn't they? This would be the one that um, I told you about in the smothered rabbit recipe. I was supposed to be using that rabbit for. Uh, I didn't do it. I misappropriated that rabbit. Now I got you a new one. We're gonna fire it up. Actually, we already fired it up and I ate it. It was really good. But I hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time than I usually do. I'm gonna. Uh, actually show you the taste test first because I know everyone doesn't stick around to the end This rabbit was really tasty. And I enjoyed it. So I want you to uh, see the taste test So do the same thing. I ask you to do every time thumbs up share like comment all that good stuff Subscribe if you haven't already uh, Give me any ideas for anything you want me to cook um, Enjoy. Thanks Okay It's official the taste test, babe. Let's see what we got juicy piece of rabbit Let's see Mm. You hear it? How tender that is? Oh my god. What you would hear, you two? Look how easy I pulled away from the bone. That's incredible. I gotta tell you. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. This black pepper sauce, outstanding. I got it from a store called H Mart. It's an Asian market. If you want to try it. Mmm. Shit. That was really good. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Leave me some comments down below. Like, favorite, subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Sorry to talk with my mouth a little bit. This is good. Alright, what's up, YouTube? A little cold out here today. We're gonna do this thing for you that I've been wanting to get together. I mentioned it in a couple other videos. I don't know if I put those videos up yet. Uh, but we're gonna do a, a fire roasted rabbit for you over a spit. Today is just gonna be the initial uh, uh, getting it started, the prep work for it. So we're gonna brine the rabbit today. I'm just gonna get the brine together, show you what that's like. The actual rabbit is gonna brine overnight, so we'll do that tomorrow. And, um, but I just wanna show you what the brine is like. So this is about I don't know, a gallon and a half of water in there. We're going to bring it up to a boil and I'll put the brine ingredients in there. I'll show you what I'm going to use. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use uh, for my brine. i got fresh herbs here. I've got, I've got parsley, rosemary, and, um, and thyme. Usually I don't use parsley. I get individual bunch of rosemary and an individual bunch of thyme. Um, they didn't have it at the market today. I didn't want to go to the different market. So I was on the way from work. I just wanted to come home. So I got this poultry seasoning packet that they have with these three all together. I don't know if this parsley is going to be a particularly effective. And I've got less thyme and less rosemary than I want. So usually what you want to use is a nice sized bunch of thyme, a nice sized bunch of uh, uh, rosemary. This is a rolling boil, actually, if I didn't mention that. So you're going to throw that in. I've got quite a bit of salt, as you see. A whole lot of salt. And I don't know if you can tell how much that is from there, but you see that's a decent amount of salt. Throw that in. Imagine now, this is just a brine, so don't worry about how much salt it is. Uh, it'll be alright. You're not seasoning the food with it, you're just brining it. I got coriander seeds, nice amount of those. Black peppercorns. Nice amount of those. Alright? And we're just going to let this boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to cool it down. I just touched that pot and the handle is extremely hot. Then we're going to let it cool down until it's cold. It actually has to be like icy cold. It's winter time now. It's cold out here. So actually all I'm going to have to do is turn the fire off on this and let it sit. You want it to be cold before you put the rabbit in. Um, in the summertime, I would put this in an ice bath to cool it down if I didn't want to wait a long time. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to let it sit out here outside uh, for a couple hours and it'll be fine. I'm going to put the rabbit in when it's ready. The rabbit will sit in the refrigerator in this brine overnight. And then we'll get to cooking tomorrow and I'll be back with you. All right, we got the grill set up for this rabbit. We're gonna get it on. A little charcoal on, on one side, a little charcoal on that side. Uh, that's a pan of water. I just put that aluminum foil over it so when I spray the charcoal lighter fluid on my charcoals, uh, I won't get lighter fluid in the water. Um, because then, obviously when it's cooking, you're gonna get that smell and that flavor uh, that's gonna hit your rabbit and you don't want that. You can see it's a beautiful wet day in the winter. It's cold as hell out here. 
beautiful day to fire up the grill. That's my philosophy. Of course, I don't know if any days are good for firing up the grill. I'll be right back. All right, there's our pretty little rabbit. Hanging out on the bronze. She's been in there a little bit over 24 hours. Uh, we're going to get out in a second. Put some seasoning on her. There you go, you two. That's a good looking rabbit, right? Look at her. She's lovely, baby. She's lovely. It's just the beginning. Wait till we do what we do with her. Let's get her set up. I'll be right back. But she's lovely. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We got her on the spit. This one I'm going to throw on top of her. A little bit of black pepper sauce I got from the Asian market. Ginger and cumin. That's it. And then I'm going to sprinkle, once I got that on there, I'm going to sprinkle as it, uh, after I put it on the spit, I'm going to sprinkle some uh, uh, dry rosemary on it. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. So I got the other side done. This is the back. I got the sauce on it. Again, I use this black pepper. Oh, let's try that again. This black pepper sauce. Uh, I've never used this stuff before. It tastes really good. I stuck my finger in it. It's really hot, so I'm not using pepper with it. I'm also not using salt because it's got sodium in there, too. It's got garlic. It's got a lot of good stuff. Got this ready. Got the other side done. I'm going with the ginger. You can see I'm going to be generous with the ginger. And then the cumin. And I'm going to be sparing with the cumin. You don't need a whole lot of cumin. Cumin can be overpowering. All right. I'm going to sprinkle on. Uh, the rosemary once it's actually on the spit over the fire. So give me a second, let me get the fire going. Let's get it going, baby. I'll be right back. There we go. A little spinning. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. We'll cover up, let it get some smoke. We also want that flame to die down. Cut that back some. All right, I'll be back with you in a little while. We'll check on in a little while. All right, we just put a little bit of moisture on it with some soy sauce and What's the sour sauce mix? Now I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on there. Yeah, she looks like she's coming along, right? Look at her. Look at her, you two. Look at her. Look at her. Yes, sir. Let's get the cover back on it. We'll check back again in a minute. Alright you two, look at her. She's looking real good. She's really tender if you squeeze her right there. Alright. She's not done, you can tell when you squeeze her. We're gonna let her spin. Uncover for a little while. Capturing a little bit too much heat with that hood on there. So we're gonna let that fire. If you felt right here, you would know it's a lot of heat hitting the side of this as it spins. Obviously nothing directly from under. We're gonna let it spin like that. Get back to you in a minute. Alright, you two. I think it's been about an hour and fifteen minutes or so. Let's poke some holes in her. She's getting there. In fact, yeah, she's pretty close. Mm-hmm. Actually, I do believe we're ready. Yeah. All right. Give me a second. Let me get this off the spit. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. She's not ready. You can see as soon as I said that and turned off the camera, I went in and pulled up this little piece right here to get a better look on the inside. And she's not ready. She's still pink on the inside. So what we're going to do, we don't want to dry out on the outside. That's always a concern. I'll put a little bit more juice on her. I'm just going to go again with my soy and my, uh, I would use an apple juice or something for this, but I don't have one. weather down real good so she don't get dry on the outside. Alright. 
Now what we're going to do is put the lid back on it and kill the fire. Let it finish uh, so it roasts down to the inside, get closer to the bones uh, through all the way. But we want to kill those charcoals because we don't want too much heat hitting no more uh, in terms of that open flame anymore. Because that outside is right, it's down to probably halfway to the bone is ready, but it's not quite done all the way down. So let's get this lid on here. Let's close these dampers. I'm going to close the bottom damper. We'll let that roll for probably 15 minutes. We'll get a little bit more smoke on it because when I close down the damper, it's going to smoke up on me a little bit, and that's good. Um, and it's going to be right. I got a feeling it's going to be right. Stay with me. All right, there we go. She looks good, you too. Don't you think so? I do. See how flexible she is? So she's tender. She's not dry. It's juicy. Let's get at it. Nice tender piece of meat. Let's get that little better in there. Can you see that? Nice, it's tender. Still got juice. Not dry at all. It smells delicious. Let's get a taste up.